am 14 weeks and four days today. So this week, symptom wise, not a whole lot has really changed. The main like theme for this week, I guess, is how miserable I am. I've just got to say this pregnancy has been by far the worst pregnancies of all of my other pregnancies. I don't know if it's just because it's like a subsequent pregnancy, like after you have so many, like they just keep getting worse, but this one has just been terrible. So to start off, my number one concern this week has been with my varicose veins, and I have been talking about this already for the past couple weeks. I've talked about it in past pregnancies, and this week my varicose veins have tripled. And I mean, they are terrible. They're really, really, really bad. And the weird part about it is that it's only on my left leg. I have none on my right leg. I only have them on my left leg. And they're mainly on the back of my thighs. So backstory, I think I've already said this in past videos, but with Lily, I didn't get any. With the twins, I got one. And then with Landon, I started getting more. But for the most part, I didn't get more until like later in pregnancy. I know towards like the third trimester is when I started getting a lot. Well, all of the ones that I got at the end of my pregnancy with Landon are already back and they're like tripled. They're starting to run down like all the way to my calf. So they have been absolutely out of control. And on top of that, this is really, really weird. And I don't think you're going to be able to see it. So it, it seems like it's minor, but it's not to me because like, I don't know, like when you look at your face, you know what your face looks like, right? So last night when I was going to bed, I noticed that I had a protruding vein, like a varicose vein sort of underneath my eye, my left eye. Again, this is all my left side, which is so, so strange to me. And it's something that I'm going to bring up to my midwife if when I see her at my next appointment, which is June 3rd. But I just think it's so weird how I, like my right side is perfectly fine and everything on my left side is just out of whack. <laughs> I've noticed that I got this vein underneath my eye and I have these terrible varicose veins running down my leg that's steadily getting worse. Like day by day, I feel like it even gets worse. So I am currently wearing my compression stockings now. So um, I figured I would wear them so I can show you guys kind of what they look like when I show you guys my belly I'll give you guys more of a visual of what they look like but as I talked about last week I purchased these compression stockings and the ones that I bought are open-toed so that way I can wear like sandals if I wanted to but they go all the way up to my thigh because my thigh like I said is my problem area I'm wearing them on both legs just in case I guess just like to prevent any of that could happen or that could come on my right side but so far like I said it has been mainly my left side or not mainly like only my left side which is really weird another thing that I've noticed this week is that my eyes are twitching and I don't know if this is like pregnancy related please let me know if anyone else has had this experience I wear contacts already and I always have since I was like in eighth grade or something like forever I've always worn contacts not like color contacts just like to see contacts right I've never really had very many problems with them your eyesight can change during pregnancy and your eyes can get like dry but my problem hasn't been necessarily with my contacts it's just been my eyes I'll just be like sitting there and my eyes will start twitching like I can feel my eyelid and like underneath they'll just start twitching all over. So I don't know if that's pregnancy related. I kind of assuming because like anything that goes wrong with your body when you're pregnant, you just automatically blame on the pregnancy. So, but yeah, my eyes have been twitching. Varicose veins have been terrible. And on top of that, my sickness is still there. I think this has been like the worst sickness of all of my pregnancies. It has although gotten a little bit better. I used to like not be able to even function. I was just so sick. I just had to go to bed. Um, now I will get sick still, but it's pretty much only when I'm hungry. It's not like throughout the day like it used to be. It used to just be like random times of day. I would just get really sick. I can say that it's not as bad as it was in the beginning of the pregnancy, but it's still there. And I still have not thrown up this pregnancy, which is so weird because I've been, I feel like I've been the most sick this pregnancy, but this is the only pregnancy where I haven't thrown up. So go figure, right? Also this week, I have like never had this problem up until like maybe the last two weeks of pregnancy, but my feet were swelling this week. 
towards the end of the day I just noticed that my feet were swelling this has never been a problem like I've never really had that before so like that with the varicose veins I just like I feel so funky like, I don't know what that's about I don't know if it's just like I said like I mentioned several times I weigh more at the beginning of this pregnancy so I'm sure that that has something to do with it but like I said I'm gonna talk to my midwife about it I just it's so weird to me that my feet are already swelling and I'm not on my feet a whole lot like I'm on my feet all day I guess but I'm not doing anything I'm not necessarily like walking around all day I'll just be like cleaning and playing with the kids but other than that like I don't do any kind of exercise which is maybe the problem I try to go on walks as often as I can but other than that I don't really do a whole lot so maybe that's what I need maybe I need some exercise in my life I need to get like a good pregnancy exercise routine going and the other thing this week is that I have been craving lots of fruit watermelon in particular I've been eating watermelon like pretty much daily and I've always loved watermelon I've always really loved like different kinds of fruits but this week especially I think it's because summer's coming and the fruits are just tastier this time of year. That's probably part of it, but I have just been loving the fruits, eating all kinds of fruits. But that's really all I can think of, like, symptom-wise. Nothing else has really changed. Everything that I've talked about in past videos is kind of still there. Like, my hair growth is still all funky, and I'm still feeling gross 99% of the time. I just really hope that all of these, like, terrible, miserable symptoms that I'm having will, like, somewhat even out, and they won't continue, like, in well into the second trimester and into the third trimester, because because I know I'm gonna have a whole list of different problems for those trimesters so I just wish that these first trimester symptoms would kind of like ease off a little bit that would be nice I have been really trying hard to not go into the baby section and not look around at the cute little outfits that they have and this week for the first time I let myself go into the little sections and I was looking at the little things and I was just like oh it is so hard in this day and age to not find out what you're having. Everything is boy or girl. You can't find very many gender neutral outfits. So I've been on the lookout because I want to try to get some things, but this is what I was telling Chris and telling my family members. If I see something that I absolutely love, an adorable little boy outfit, an adorable little girl outfit, I mean, as long as it's not like extremely expensive, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to have a little stash of girl stuff, a little stash of boy stuff to kind of be prepared in a sense, and I know for sure one thing that I'm going to plan on doing is having one girl outfit and one boy outfit. Like, normally it would be, like, the going home outfit, but for me, since I'm going to be at home, delivering at home, it's going to be just, like, the announcement outfit, I guess. Like, their first, like, outfit that they get to wear that's not a gender-neutral outfit, you know? And I've been trying to think of ways. Tell me what your guys' opinion is on this. What should I do to announce what it is. After the baby's born, I think it would be so cool if I was able to edit and upload the entire birth and let you guys find out by watching it. But I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Would you guys like to find out that way? Like, not spoil it on Instagram, not spoil it on Facebook, or do you just want me to like make a video immediately after and be like, oh, it's a boy or it's a girl? What, do you, what are your guys' opinions? Give me some cute ideas. I'm very open. I've been trying to think about this lately. I just think it would be such a neat thing if I was able to at least maybe get like an edited version, like a shorter version of the home birth so that you can see, you can kind of see how things went down and then you can actually see the birth. Assuming that I get good footage of that, that is, if something goes wrong, that I can't guarantee that. So far what I was leaning towards was maybe having some shortened version of the home birth to get it up quickly, soon after the birth, upload it and you guys can just watch it that way and it'll be like a whole emotional wreck for everybody. And then I can upload a whole like unedited long version of the home birth when I get around to it. So let me know your guys thoughts on that. I can upload a like a long detailed version after but just get some short initial version for you guys to actually watch it and so that way it's like you guys were there and you get to see the excitement and see everyone's reaction. Let me know if that's what you guys would like or if you would want me to just do quick update video being like this is what it is like whatever these are our thoughts and feelings type video like I said let me know what you guys think I would love some ideas on that also a lot of people have been asking me I think I get questions on this every single week and I try to answer it in the comments but I know not everybody reads them and not everybody sees my responses but people keep asking me am I going to tell you guys the names that we picked out and my answer is absolutely yes I'm not gonna keep everything from you we are going to pick out a girl name and we're gonna pick out a boy name and I will announce that to you guys prior to the birth hopefully pretty soon the girl name we have been set on we have had that picked out we're set on the girl name no matter what the boy name 
we're going back and forth between a few different names. And like the problem with the boy names is that the names that we like are all commonly used. I just, I know a bunch of people that have the little boys that have these names. It's like impossible these days to find a name that nobody has to just be like unique in your own way and have your spouse agree on it. So I'm in love with two different names and he's leaning more towards one of those names. So like we both agreed that those are names that we like. And as I'm leaning more towards one and he's leaning more towards the other. So we're not for sure set on a boy name. We do have two picked out. And for the girl name, like I said, we are set on that. So once we get everything set in stone, middle names, everything like that, that's when I'll announce it to you guys. So just give me a few weeks. I'm thinking like mid-pregnancy, I'll finally announce it to you guys. So I think that's actually pretty much it for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my belly and I'll show you guys these incredibly uncomfortable stockings that I'm wearing for these varicose veins. All right, so this is my 14 week belly. You see from the front and these are the stockings. So as you can see, like I was talking about last week, this nude color that's generally nude for everybody in existence is not nude for redheads. So like, you can see my skin color and you can see the nude color that the stockings come with. But basically at the top here it has like this elastic part and well I guess it's all kind of elastic but it has like this um, gripping here so that it doesn't slip off of you. And they're like super tight stockings and they go all the way obviously down here up to, let me see if I can get this up here. Okay, so sorry, this looks like really weird, but you can see how weird these look and why I was talking about how I can't wear them in public. But like I said, they're open-toed. This is the actual compression stocking itself, and then this is like where it ends up here. Anyway, yeah, back to my belly. So this is my 14-week belly, and with the shirt up, all of the pants that I have and shorts are really starting to not fit. So as you can see, most of the time I leave the top part unbuckled and I only have one pair of maternity pants right now. So this is my 14 week belly. And we are at, it looks like we're at just over 35 this week, like maybe 35 and a quarter-ish, almost 35 and a half. So I've definitely grown from last week. I think last week I was a 35. Okay, Landon's joining me for the last part. You wanna come say hi? Hey. Come here. <laughs> He is in a very silly mood. That is pretty much it for this week. The only other thing that I wanted to talk about was that I finally got a Snapchat. I still don't have a Twitter. If you're seeing Twitters, those are not me. Um, there is one that is my Twitter, but I don't use it. My Twitter that is mine that I don't use, if you want to follow it, that's up to you, but I don't plan on using it. Um, but that one is the just Really? <laughs> the Twitter that is mine that I don't use is at the Jess fam. Any other ones that you're seeing is not me, it's just with three S's as usual. I just now though started using Snapchat and I don't really know how to use it yet. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out. But if you guys would like to go follow me on Snapchat, I frequently upload on Instagram, on Facebook, and now Snapchat I've been trying to really use as well. So if you wanna go ahead and add that, my Snapchat is the same as my YouTube name. You are so silly. Like, come say hi. 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 My name on Snapchat is the same that it is on YouTube, Jess Fam with three S's, just like you see it below. Feel free to go add me on that. That one is public, I believe. And that's pretty much it for this week. I'll have all of my links down below if you wanna follow me on different forms of social media and other than that we will talk to you guys for week 15 okay, bye. i'm updating on my pregnancy this week i'm calling it a life update video but really it's just a custody update video that we got a boy result with that one